What is up guys and welcome back to another episode. In this one, we got yet another walleye cheater scandal update for you guys. This is some big news guys. This is the news that I feel like everyone has pretty much been waiting for. We got weights and fish! There we go! But before we dive into this video, do me a favor guys, hit the subscribe button, turn notifications on. I make fresh new content every single week. Lately, I've been making new content pretty much daily. But all right guys, let's dive into the video. We have some new developments. Yesterday, Chase Kaminsky's boat was seized. It was the boat that they used to, to uh, cheat at that tournament. If you guys have been following along. Fiberglass Ranger Pro Fisherman boat is registered to Chase Kaminsky of Hermitage. You know what's going on, but if you haven't, Jake Runny and Chase Kaminsky have been accused of cheating at a Lake Erie Walleye Trail tournament. They actually, it was actually the championship, the loot championship. They were caught cheating. The tournament director found big lead weights stuffed in the stomach of the fish, adding eight pounds to their total. And they've been suspected of doing this for a long time. They finally have been caught. I think a lot of people have been waiting for them to get caught. They've been looked at before several times and they've just always gotten away with it until now. This story has exploded. It's been all over national and international news. Everybody's talking about it. A bunch of other YouTube channels has picked it up. I've done several videos on the topic. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. When I first, when I did the first video on this, I wasn't expecting to do many, if any more videos, but so many people were commenting wanting more. And there's been so many crazy developments with this that I've just been just been trying to keep on top of it all. That being said, there's been a lot of misinformation out there that I have I have received wrong as well, and I've gotten a couple things wrong. The boat that was just seized yesterday was not the boat that they won last year. I guess they sold that boat. Some of the other news outlets are reporting that wrong as well, and I got the information wrong. So the boat that, that was seized was the one that was obviously used in the championship where they got caught cheating, but I believe it was given to them by a sponsor. I'm not sure about that. But it was but it was registered in Chase Kaminsky's name. So the boat that they had won, they already sold. I did a video on the whole boat being seized. Um, I'll, I'll link that one in the description so you guys can check it out. But there has been even more developments. As of today, they have been charged and arrested, guys. That is right. They have been arrested. Finally, they've been arrested. I feel like everyone's been waiting to hear that news. It's uh, it's been you know what this happened on the it's been almost two weeks. This happened on the 30th of September. Almost two weeks it took for them to be arrested, which honestly isn't that long. That's kind of quick, probably depending like considering like the type of uh, the type of crime this was. But yeah, the ODNR and the Mercer County Sheriff's Department seized the boat yesterday as evidence, and then today they were charged and arrested. So they have been indicted on charges of cheating, attempted grand theft, and possessing criminal tools. And those are all felonies, guys. I didn't even know that cheating was a charge in itself, but apparently it is. But yeah, those are all those are all felonies. So that's three felonies they're getting hit with. I'm assuming they've probably lawyered up at this point. I wonder what's going through their minds. I wonder how much support they have because I wonder if like their friends and family knew they were cheating like this. And then you got Kaminsky talking bad about his wife that's on that's on footage too. I did that, I did a video on that. This is pretty crazy. They're probably freaking out, and rightfully so, and you know, it's deserving. I want to take a second and just address something. I got a lot of comments about my fish tanks. So a lot of them are positive, some are negative. People are saying that they're dirty. They're not dirty, guys. The water's clear. I check the parameters like every couple days. Fish are happy and healthy. These are newer tanks. These have only been set up. Actually, I got them both from Facebook Marketplace, cleaned them up, resealed them, and they've only been set up for like a month. So they have their first algae bloom, guys. So the green you're seeing is just some algae on the tank glass. I need to get a couple plecos. Everybody calm down. The water's clean, guys, I promise you. But anyway, let's get back. Let's get back on topic here. Just wanted to address that real quick. I've been seeing that comment pop up a lot. They're also facing a couple misdemeanor charges for unlawfully owning wild animals. I wonder what that's about. I, there's not, I, I don't see any more on that. I don't know if it's because of like, they were keeping walleye. They seized the fish as evidence. I don't know what's going on with that. Possessing, I don't know if they have some other kind of crazy animals that they're keeping, or maybe they got walleye in a fish tank that they're cheating with. Cause you know, Mike Long has done that before. There's been other cheaters who actually have kept fish. Like how I got my bass over here. They've kept fish in a tank like this, but obviously a larger, a larger fish and then brought them to the weigh-ins and stuff and acting like they caught them. Maybe something like that's going on too. Who knows, guys? That's some that's a lot of speculation on my part right there. But that is a very strange that they were charged with uh, unlawfully owning wild animals. I wonder what the wild animals are. If anyone knows anything about that, comment below, guys. I'm very curious to see what that's about. But yeah, so it's two misdemeanors on top of the three felonies. They're probably looking at some jail time, guys. They're definitely going to get fined heavily. I I'm wondering how they're going to pay back like the winnings and stuff. Because if they can trace this back to how many times they've cheated, like who knows? I'm sure if they got a lawyer that advise them to just keep their mouth shut at this point, they might be turning on each other at this point. Who the heck knows, guys? This thing is exploding. 
I when I made that first video, I had no idea this was going to be this big of a story because you've seen stuff like this happen in the past, and it just never really got picked up that hard by the by the uh, media, like the the mainstream media. But they have been running with this stuff, guys, and it has been going absolutely freaking insane. A lot of people seem to be fascinated around this, and I think a lot of people just want to see cheaters get caught because nobody likes a cheater. I can remember being a kid and playing checkers and my friends or somebody cheating and being so mad. Even even with little stuff like that. So like this is like a whole new level. I mean this is more than just cheating. Like this is theft. They've been taking money from their people they've been competing against. Like probably like who who knows how deep this goes guys. There's been a lot of other stuff that people have messaged me about that are closer to this. And some of the stuff, I, it's so evil almost, and I, I don't even want to say it unless I know it's 100% true. Like the sources seem legit, but it, it is some very insane stuff that I don't want to put out there unless it's, even if it is fully true, I don't know if it's my place to even put it out there because it's some evil stuff, guys. There's some, a lot of, a lot of deeper, darker stuff going on with these two. It seems like that I don't even know that I want to put on this channel, guys. I actually did a search for their mug shots and I couldn't find them. But I did see where Chase Kaminsky had been arrested. Like he's like in the like the database or whatever for arrest. So they definitely have been arrested. And that's what all the news stations are reporting. Even though one did report that they were arrested like a week ago when they had not been. I made the mistake of using that as a source. But yeah, guys, the cheaters are going down. The cheaters have been arrested. What do you guys think is going to happen? Do you think that they're going to see jail time? Do you think it's just going to be like probation? I mean, this could probably range from anywhere from, like, fines and community service to, like, actual jail time. Because I think there was a lot of money involved with this. You know, they've won, like, just last year, I think it was over $300,000. So, it's going to be hard to prove how many times they cheated, for sure. Without them, like, you know, incriminating themselves. But who knows, guys. This thing, I'm going to continue to try and give you updates while this thing unfolds. You should see, when when, the, when they went and seized the boat, I mean, they were serious. They had, like, armed armed policemen. Ar like, looks like freaking SWAT was there, almost. Investigators say he was involved in the scandal. ODNR and Mercer County's District Attorney's Office will be using the boat and trailer as evidence. They, they weren't taking this lightly, guys. ODNR does not mess around. Do not mess with the wildlife and do not cheat and steal money at a tournament because you will go down, guys. If you cheat, you're going to get caught. But all right, guys, that is all I have for you. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please smash the subscribe button, hit the like button. And I'll see you next time. We got weights and fish. There we go. Oh, 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 get oh, oh, out of here. We got weights and fish. There we go.